It's Wednesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. What the hell is wrong with the Rockies? That is the headline from the Colorado Sun, looking back on three decades of mediocre baseball in Denver. And we took it to Crystal 93 listeners like Steve calling in from Silverthorne. When I go now to watch a game, I look for those moments like, wow, that was spectacular. Because I know the Rockies aren't going to make the playoffs or be anything stupendous. The Rockies could lose 100 games this season for the first time in history. But their losing ways run deep, third worst record in the past 30 years, and not a single division title. Local science teacher Eric phoning in. i got to be honest, I'm more of a Red Sox fan. And once the Red Sox are 11 games back, I don't watch anybody. Sure, Coors Field is tough on pitchers. But Tim, via Facebook, blames the owners. The Munfits are garbage owners. Next question. But those garbage owners are doing big business. The franchise is worth $1.45 billion, and that new McGregor Square development just to the west, it's mostly theirs. Maybe one Rockies fan put it the best, though, quoted by The Athletic in 2021. They're the best baseball within at least 600 miles. So if you want to see baseball played at a fairly high level, you can at least come and watch the other team. The Rockies lost to the Rays yesterday, 12-4 and they hold securely onto the worst record in the National League, third worst in the majors. The Rockies are playing the Rays again today at 440. Forecasters predict another El Nino cycle this winter, which should mean deep, consistent snow in the Rocky Mountains. It's too early to say if that means bottomless powder days here in Summit. Now the latest Farmer's Almanac is out, and the authors there are calling for average cold and snow in Colorado, but a second monster season for portions of Utah and California starting after the new year. Elected officials in Vail just voted to give themselves a raise. The Vail Daily reports this is the first time in 16 years the mayor and the council have done so. The Denver Post confirms three more fatalities from West Nile virus. Four people statewide have died. Most victims are on the front range or down south. There are no reported cases here in Summit. Not even any mosquitoes have tested positive for the virus. Coming to Antlers Liquors in Frisco today is Will Summers. He is a retired U.S. Army infantry officer and a member of the 82nd Airborne, known as the Horse Soldiers. He was one of the first on the ground in Afghanistan after 9-11. You can meet Summers in person and try Horse Soldier Bourbon from 4 to 6 today at Antlers Liquors in Frisco. Local fire danger remains moderate today in Summit, still with no fire restrictions. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family and Dillon. Summit High Soccer lost to Battle Mountain yesterday 5 to nil. Today, Lady Tigers Volleyball is opening the season at Clear Creek. Also today at Carter Park is the sixth and final race of the Summit Trail Running Series. Get signed up on site at 4. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.